Hello, I'm Nicole Wilson in for Damian Mitchell. Nearly $400 million worth of damage has been left due to market fires across Jamaica in the last five years. Four shop owners at the Old Fort Craft Market in Montego Bay, St. James, are the latest victims, having lost all their goods in a fire at the beginning of the week. Former Petrodram boss Howard Mollison has testified that the scandal-scarred state-owned oil refinery falsely indicated in a 2016 report to Parliament that his salary was more than $15 million. The former general manager was giving evidence before a three-member commission of the Industrial Dispute Tribunal Monday in a case he brought against Petrodram for unfair dismissal. The verdict in the case against alleged gang leader Eugene Wilson and his 17 co-accused has been pushed back to March 30, 2020 due to problems with the previous software used to collate, analyze and annotate evidence. The decision was previously set for January 8 next year. In sports, Jamaica Olympic Association President Christopher Samuda warns that Jamaican athletes must take responsibility in ensuring that they are not found doping in their respective sports. The warning comes after the World Anti-Doping Agency issued a four-year ban on Russia from participating in all international sporting events, including next year's Olympic Games in Tokyo. In your currency trading today, one US dollar was being sold for $134.32, the British pound sterling for $178.44, and the Canadian dollar for $102.21. In your weather forecast, on Wednesday morning, there will be partly cloudy skies across northern parishes with mainly sunny conditions elsewhere. In the afternoon, expect isolated showers across sections of southern parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Nicoy Wilson.